Hey YouTube, it's Wisconsin Shoe Guy and thank you for tuning in. This is a shoe review on these Meerman long wing bluchers. This is the 101 376. 101 376. This is an antique copper, which incidentally, when Meerman says antique copper, what they really mean is saphir mahogany. That's because this is a perfect match for that color. One time I was polishing it and I got a little carried away on the toe cap with the uh, rubbing alcohol and I stripped it down to bare leather and took the finish completely off. I put in a little Saphir shoe uh, polish on top of that and it was like magic and all of a sudden the shoe looked like new again. So now you can see I've got a little bit of a darker brown burnish on here under the wax, uh, but uh, really, really, great example of this shoe. Now, what is a long wing blucher? A long wing blucher is a wing tip that instead of ending here, which they would call a short wing, goes all the way around the shoe, and hence they call it a long wing. Uh, another name for this is also a gunboat, because it kind of looks like this is a boat, um, and that's the water, right? So, uh, they are a really classic Americana shoe. Uh, they've becoming more and more popular in Europe. Uh, if you look at this, there's a couple things to note in terms of quality. Uh, this piece of the shoe on the side is a different piece of leather than the vamp. And you can see that seam here. Now, sometimes what they'll do with long wing bluchers is they'll actually have the blucher piece extend down to cover that. So you can't really tell. And then, you know, you're sitting there with your finger trying to figure out if there's a seam or not. Uh, I have one pair by Churches that actually has a big seam here in the, uh, in the long wing part, which I, I like a lot less than I like the seam here. But, um, you know, it is worthy of note. Now, this is a closed or hidden channel sole, meaning that when they're constructing the shoe, they stitch it, and you can see the stitch lines here uh, to go into the shoe, but then here, that when they stitch it, they fold the leather back this way, they do the stitching, and then they close it back around uh, so it uh, does not show. But again, there you can see the stitch holes. Uh, this is a traditional Goodyear welting. There's the welt. And uh, I would say this is reasonably good quality. Uh, real stacked leather heel, combination heel here. Um, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, very nice shoe. They have uh, some detail that they do to it as well. Uh, I think it's easier to see right here. Uh, this lines, actually, if you get here in the light, you can see that they do what they call fudging. But it's very, very minor. It's very hard to see. If you look here, I'm gonna try zooming in because I'm not able to get the light on it just right. You can see there's a little bit of a pattern along the edge here. I'm just gonna push this back so you can get that into the picture. You can kind of see it on the edge here. That fudging is designed to make it harder to see the, the stitching on the inside. Uh, that fudging, they basically just take a wheel that has like this little edge to it and they roll that wheel around it and it puts in that little pattern. Now this is not very deep set. Uh, if you, uh, certain shoes will have a very, very thick pattern for that and uh, it will be very, very easy to see. Um, I will come around and show you, like on this pair of boots, that's how thick it can be on a, on a pair of very high quality boots. So here, the fudging is definitely there but is it uh, very, very high quality? I'm not going to say that it is, but it's a nice, uh, you know, they, they are doing some finishing work here. They used the wheel that created the edge along the bottom and a little bit of an edge on the top. Um, they call that edging. Okay. So a little bit of work done there. And, uh, you know, that, that is the, you know, and then of course the sole, and that's the extent of the finishing on these shoes. Uh, Meerman are made in China. Uh, they're designed in Mallorca. Uh, they even say so on the tongue, uh, so it's uh, it's always easy to tell uh, when you're actually looking at them. Here, let's see if we can zoom in on that. You can see that. Made in Shanghai. So, pretty nice shoes. Now, the shoe trees themselves are made out of beech wood. 
uh, which is uh, not cedar, but is another one of the absorbent woods. Uh, so also pretty high quality. So anyway, um, these are 195 bucks. Are they worth the price? Absolutely. You're not gonna find shoes in this category uh, for under 350 on super sales. Uh, but uh, you know, um, are they as good quality as like a Church's and Alden and Allen Edmonds? No, they're not. But uh, they are they are pretty good. Now the one thing about uh, um, I've never had a problem with bluchers, but on some Oxfords I have had a problem with the heel counters really biting into my ankle and taking a long time to break in. But these uh, these particular shoes have been just fine. So this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and I'm out. Have a good day.